Okay, hi everybody. Back again with another video. Again, it's not a Hot Toys figure. This is a figure called Blood Hunter by Virtual Toys. This is the box. You can just pick out the um, artwork on it. And obviously, you might guess who this actually is from the name. Obviously due to licensing, they can't call him who he is. And it's one of the characters from the Bloodborne computer game. The male version. One of the hunters. Nice quality figure. Good tailoring. Quite impressive actually. And he comes with a stand, which is... sort of rare on third party figures. So before we take a look, uh, better look at the figure, go over his accessories. So he comes with only four interchangeable hands. So he's got the two trigger finger hands that you can see on him here. And hopefully the camera will focus. And he's got two of the gripping hands with spare pegs. I think I'm going to have a problem with this camera today comes with this base which is the um, the road quite a nice sturdy base blood hunter on there and it's got the crutch grabber so pretty much what you see with um, hot toy figures it also comes with this rather large gun just zoom in a bit on it pretty nice paint detail on it and that is actual fabric right around the stock there there's no moving parts on it we move around to his second gun which is like a flintlock pistol again that is actual fabric cloth right around the handle there Very nice looking gun. Zoom back out again. And the third weapon he comes with, which is quite large, is the um, large cutting weapon. Again, this is all fabric. As you can see, it moves. Quite large. I find, though, um, if you're going to have him holding this, you're going to have to use two hands to hold it because it's it's fairly heavy but it does fold up and that's all it comes with as far as accessories are concerned so we'll zoom in and take a look at the hat it's plastic it fits nicely on the figure. Moving on down, we have his scarf. I'll show you the face in a little while and let you guess who it is. He's got uh, these are actual metal chains going around the holding the shawl on. You can take this off, and it is wired as well. Let's just zoom back out again so you can get a better look. It's um, it feels leathery, but I think it's probably the dreaded pleather. I could be wrong on that. And it's got a fabric coat underneath. Again, this has got wires in it as well, all the way down, which is really nice. It's the long flowing coat, pleather type buckles and harnesses on his waistcoat there. Hopefully you can hear me over that bloody dog next door. It does not stop barking. I'm going to get a gun and shoot the bloody thing. Uh, down to his boots. These are um, a plastic boot. 
and this is um, molded on it's not actual strapping on the boot there and I think that is as well take a look at these gauntlets it's plastic again but it's got the metal chains Turn this around. I did play the game once when I got bored with it because it's the same old thing. So I can't tell you what these things are. Again, that's, play, that's metal. Move on round to the back. Really nice material. So this is all wired all around here as well. And there's his other gauntlet. Comes straight out the box like this. All you have to put on is basically his hat. So I'll just take his hat off. And pull his mask down. Bit of a pain in the ass to put that back on again, but... Who do you reckon that is? I would say Tom Hiddleston, based on him. Not bad paint apps on the face. Pretty close to Hot Toys quality. And it doesn't look out of place in your collection next to Hot Toys figures if you're a Hot Toys collector. Um, I got this figure through TNS Figures on Facebook. I can't remember what I paid for it. I think it's about um, somewhere in the region of, I think it's about $180, something like that. So it's a bit cheaper than Hot Toys Figures by about sort of $50 to $70 less. But it's good quality. Um, I'm happy with it. Steampunk sort of look. I am hoping to um, kitbash a steampunk female to go with him. But yeah, that's basically all there is to this figure. Um, not a lot else I can say about him. Articulation is pretty good. Um, no hindrance. A little bit of hindrance on the crutch. Is the trousers are a little bit tight up in that area, but around the knees they're fine. His arms is fine. He's got ab crunch as well, and obviously the head moves. Uh, let's see if we can zoom in, get a little bit more detail on the uh, metal buckle there. There's quite a few different types of medium in the clothing on this figure, which is nice. So they're not. It's not cheap. And what I like about it as well, um, I've had a lot of bad experiences with um, third party companies and others that are not hot toys with the bodies that they use. Um, I've always, nine times out of ten, the figures that I've got, the joints are a bit loose, but this one is fine. No issues whatsoever with this figure as far as loose joints are concerned. Zoom in on that. It's a plastic gun. There's no metal on that. But yeah. So if you're thinking of getting him. Um, I'm sure there's still loads available on eBay. Or where you normally get your figures from. Let's say I got this off Facebook. And again it's the Blood Hunter by Virtual Toys. So yeah that's it for me for this video. Uh, so it's a bit brief. But it's not a great deal to say about the figure, other than just let your eyes do the talking, really. So until my next video, which could possibly be um, a quick update on my collection, and then it'll be on to Hot Toys figures. So until then, thanks for watching.